So, uh, in the occlusal uh, uh, views, uh, we are going to discuss the views that are done for the maxilla and in the mandible. For the maxilla, if you want the premaxillary, premaxilla to be shown, like in cases of an impacted canine, so you're going to use a, a, a size 2 sensor, okay, uh, which is the periapical normal sensor, and then you're going to place it, see, you will, go, you will introduce it inside the oral cavity. Inside the oral cavity, you are going to uh, uh, rotate it, see, 1, 2. So you will, pl uh, you will put it uh, horizontally, and then you will ask the patient, see, you will ask your patient to bite on the, uh, uh, on the sensor. Okay? Now you see that the film here is placed in a um, flat, okay? It is placed flat. It's not behind the teeth as in the normal periapical technique. Next step is the uh, X-ray beam direction. So, as you can see, this is the film over here of the sensor. It's flat. Now, the next step is you're going to direct your beam so that it will be plus 65. Plus 65. This is 30, this is 60, and this is the 65 degrees. Okay? And then you're going to direct your beam on the bridge of the nose, not the tip of the nose. It will be directed on the bridge of the nose here, in this area, okay? Now, this film, or this view, sorry, this view will show the pre-maxillary area, if there is any case of an impacted tooth or fractured area, it will show bigger areas. So this is what is called the 65 degree uh, upper occlusal radiograph.